It's Play in the Shed Day. So, what's going on today? Let's have a look at what's in the shed. Right down this end, ooh, there's a new box and it says Portable Bandsaw. Woohoo! Let me state right up front that I'm a complete novice when it comes to a portable metal cutting bandsaw. I've got no experience with any other metal cutting bandsaw, so this is a complete first for me. And therefore I've bought the cheapest bandsaw that I could find. I'm in Australia and this bandsaw was $189 Australian delivered, which I guess is about uh, just a bit over $100 American. It comes with virtually nothing. It's got a blade and that's about it. But it feels quite nice and robust. It's made from cast and it's got plastic surrounds around the, the drive wheels. <laughs> and the tools, a couple of Allen keys, of course. And theoretically, an owner's manual. Well, let's have a look at the manual. Safety instructions, safety instructions, safety instructions, safety instructions. No real instructions on how to put the blade on, and I've never done one of these before, so I'm just following my nose. I'll take off the covers. I'm not sure that other brands have these covers, but anyway, they seem like a good idea. I'll take them off, and I'll see if I can fit the blade. How hard can it be? Well, I try to fit it like an ordinary bandsaw by putting it around the drive wheels first and then into the guides. But I find that that doesn't work because the guides are offset from the blade. So I try putting it in the guides first. One of the guides slips in no problem. But the other one, there's no way I can get that blade between those two guides. So I have to unscrew the screw from the top guide wheel, put the blade in, and then screw it back in again. Once the blade's in, it's okay. But I could not get it to slide in between those two guide wheels. Anyway, got the blade in both guides now. So maybe I can get it in now, but mm, no, I can't because I can't bend the blade enough to get it around the drive wheels. Oh, poof. Oh well, let's have another try. Now that I know that uh, one of those guides needs, the, needs to be taken off first, now I'll put it around the drive wheels and use the pliers to just bend that blade a bit to slide it into one of the guides and then the other guide, I'm just sitting it on top and then I'll put the... Um, the top guide wheel in once the blade's in place. And hopefully Bob will be my uncle. Being a novice at anything is such a trial. But I think I might be winning. righty -o. I think the blade's in, and it's just a matter of tightening the blade tension up. And it should be ready to start. Yep, oh, it's all lined up all okay. So let's plug it in and see how we go. Well, it's got a, a light that shines down on the blade, so that'd be handy. And, yee It runs. It's alive. And it's got a speed controller. Yeah, that goes nice and slow. There's no variable speed control on the switch. It's just on off. The speed's controlled here and it goes from one to six. So it goes from one to six. I'm gonna leave it on three to start with and see how we go there. So let's give it a real test. So this is just um, three mil angle iron, angled steel. 
my old steel. So I'll give that a try. And yes, it'd be a good idea not to put the camera on the same bench as I'm using to hold the steel. Well, that was pretty effortless and it cut quite nicely. Now let's give it a bit more of a test. This steel is 10 mil thick and about 25 mil wide and I'm still running it on speed 3. By the way for all these cuts I'm just allowing the weight of the bandsaw to do the cutting. I'm not pushing down on it at all. I'm just trying to guide it straight. Well, half speed seemed okay, but it felt a little bit fast, so I put it right back on one, and now we'll give it another try on that same steel. It feels like it's taking an awful long time to cut through this steel, but I am just sitting back and thinking of England, so it's no real hassle. Well, that took about 15 seconds longer. Not a huge amount. And anyway, the blade's still looking really good. There's no sign of wear whatsoever on it from cutting that steel so far. And the blade is a 13mm by 0.65 thick. Now, this next bit of round bar is 50mm round. And it's quite hard um, turning steel. I don't know what the grade is, but it's certainly harder than just ordinary mild steel. Again, I'm just letting the saw take its time and just using the, the weight of the saw as the pressure. And um, it doesn't feel as though the, the motor in the saw is um, labouring at all. It feels really quite good, quite solid. I think given that uh, I'm trying to do a bit of a demonstration on what this saw will do, I'm not speeding up the video. I'm trying to leave it all on real time to give a feel of what it really feels like to cut through these various bits of steel. Again, it feels like it takes quite a long time to cut through it, but it's only 1 minute 20 seconds. Okay, this should give it something to go on with. This is 20 millimeter thick mild steel, and it's 100 mil wide. And I'm still running on speed 1, the slowest. 
This is going to take a little while so feel free to skip ahead if you want to because at the end of this cut I'll tell you how long it took. I'm moving the saw around a bit just to experiment to see whether one position uh, makes it cut easier or not. But it doesn't seem to matter much. There you go, that big lump of steel only took 3 minutes and 10 seconds to cut through and it's only just slightly warm from that cut, so that's a good result. Bear in mind I'm using the blade that came with the saw and theoretically the blades that come with these cheap saws aren't all that great quality. So far I've been impressed, I haven't seen any sort of uh, damage or, or wear on the blade at all from all these cuts. Anyway, the last cut is a chunk of aluminium that's about 35mm um, by 50mm and I'm cutting at the maximum speed. It doesn't seem to cut aluminium all that much faster than ordinary steel. Anyway, I'll be probably only cutting aluminium on my normal wood cutting bandsaw anyway because that does a really good job of cutting aluminium and I'll be only using the portable bandsaw for steel. By the way, as I've been doing these cuts, I've been checking to see whether the motor's getting hot or excessively hot, and it certainly isn't. It's still nice and cool after a long cut, which is a good sign. But as I'm only a hobbyist, this saw is never going to see a huge amount of hard work. After that testing, I'm quite happy with this bandsaw. I did notice that um, keeping that um, bottom cowl on kept all the crap in it, so I took that cowl off. Should I be building a static bench for it rather than using it handheld? I'm not sure. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate that. Thanks. 
Talk to you again in the next Play in the Shed day.